give it everything or fuck off home. I don't need to be training with a pro bodybuilder. I just need to be training with somebody who's gonna match me on the intensity. That's all. Turn up, willing to do the shit, and that's all I expect. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't wanna hear about your day. I don't wanna hear about what your problems you got. I just wanna know you're coming to gym to fight your demons and take it out on these weights. Okay guys, today what I wanna choose, non-stem or fucking stem. It's Monday and you know what that calls for, stem. But my buddy here likes the non-stem. So you take that one. This is the good shit. Let that pick in in the next five minutes and we'll get ready to do some chest since it's International Chest Day. Yes, Michael? It's good, yeah, bro. I'm gonna show these boys how it's done. You gotta stay focused. Stay focused to your goal. One thing I'm noticing at the moment is a lot of people are training like pussies in the gym because they're too eager to change their workouts because they don't believe in the process and the reps are atrocious. You know what I mean? Work on your reps, guys. Master perfect reps. I suggest you go to the gym and just learn how to properly bench press. That's all you have to do if you want a big chest. Learn how to bench press and do it properly and do it right. And that one exercise can make you hurt if you do it the right fucking way. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, just gonna warm up chest. It's a warm day here in England. Probably one of the warmest days so far. Temperatures have reached 33, and that's hot for us albinos in the UK. How are you going, bro? How are you doing? You're good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good in the hood. Okay, come on. All right, warming up the chest. Not like it needs warming up in this weather. Feed your pets through. Remember, handle on your palms, scooping it through, scooping it through, scooping your pets through. You don't want to be doing that. That's doing your fucking shoulders. Then you're wondering why you got bigger shoulders than your chest. Because you're using your shoulders. You're not isolating your pets. You know what I mean? The fibers go upward, upward. You don't go that way, you know what I mean? That's your shoulders there. As soon as, as, soon as you lift up your arm, past there, your shoulders automatically take over. If you don't know, now you know. Michael, what's this new trend there? Eh? People are doing you know, cable flies with cuffs on their fucking elbows. Uh, Full range of movement, down, li squeeze. Listen, these fucking cuffs, putting them on your fucking arms here and doing fucking pecs, eh? It's not gonna give you a bigger peck. I don't know where the stupid ideas come from. You know, only person who should be doing cuffs on their fucking elbow is a person who hasn't got no hands. But you stupid bastards got these fucking hands. You're not using them for your chest workout. What are you using them for? That. Come on, guys. Stop listening to these influencers who know jack shit about building pets. Go back to old school. See I see ya. I see ya, pussy boy. <laughs> and what gym top are you wearing? You're fucking sacked. What, look at that. Look at his top. Sack him. Turn around. You've never been to the Bronx, white boy. Driving through. <laughs> it's always good to have a bit of banter in the gym with the lads. It's all about atmosphere, creating the right atmosphere. People might say I'm a bully, but I am. Easy, <laughs> come Always remember when you're doing any exercise, be in control of the weight. So if somebody says to you, stop there, 
you know you've got the mind and muscle connection to stop there. It's not gonna pull you away, you know? It's all about being in control of that weight. And, you know, it's took me a long time for little things like this. And this is what I'm giving to you guys for free because I don't want you to make the same mistakes as me. I've been there, done this shit long enough, you know? I can write a book about it, but I'm dyslexic. You know what I mean? That'd be good book. Yeah. Take scoring. Somebody's piping up today. I think the pre-workout's working on them. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got this type of cable crossover, what you need to do is, as the weight goes heavier, to avoid injuring yourself, bring it down to the level you need it at. So you're not jumping up to pull it in. When you're doing chest, any exercise on chest, always remember it. Breathe in, hold your rib cage up. You know what I mean? So you're walking around like a hard man. That's how you should be walking around with your pecs up. You know what I mean? And that's how you should be doing the exercise. Not deflated and you know, your posture is important. Be confident, especially when you're doing an exercise. Because if you're caving your chest in, what are you doing? Shoulders again. This is a problem where you have. A lot of people, when the weight starts going up, it's human nature. Your body wants to do it the easiest possible way. Uh -uh, we're not gonna let it. We're gonna make it hardest. When it's hot like this, guys, Get your fucking H2O down. Whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh. 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 And again. Ooh. Come on, Michael. That's it. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. 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 The boobies are warm. Now we go to our first exercise and I, I will only exercise, and you'll realize why. I'm gonna show you guys a bit of old school. You know, you see everybody coming to the gym, doing 10 different exercises if they're fucking stupid, or they can be doing three or four exercises if they're keeping that intensity, you know, or if, if you're training at home and you've just got bench press or a Smith machine, you can just do one exercise and that one exercise can give you everything you fucking need. Because you're doing flat bench, yeah? Do you honestly think your upper pecs aren't working? You know what I mean? You're actually only doing a certain part of your pecs. All your pecs moving. You can't stop, you know, your body, your pecs from turning off and turning on and turning on and turning off. Impossible. Okay. Let's start this. When you're doing this exercise, remember, keep fixed. And when you're bringing down, breathe up. Keep it up and breathe out. Don't ever go like that. Don't let your head go up. So it's always breathe in, try to exaggerate your fucking pecs as much as possible and then Keep your elbows nice and, you know what I mean, like that position. So they're like going into your lats, like you're doing a lat spread, and then power up. It's simple when you know how, but it's hard to explain it over a you know, video log because I have to be there to see, you know, what muscles are activating and what are not activating. That's it. That's it, good. There's no right amount of warm-ups. You know what I mean? If you want, if you feel like you need to do more warm-ups on a certain day, do them. Your body, you know best. You know what I mean? Just because somebody's doing two warm-ups and you're thinking that you have to do that, no, you don't. Do what is necessary for you to do your heavy set in a nice, comfortable, you know, strong mind frame and knowing that you feel fully warmed up. Look at my hands. Like that. It's on your palm. The power 
It's going down your wrist. So you don't need to do them too high or too low. Just where your form is nicely. So you just press. Natural position. I'm giving too many of my secrets away. You guys are going to fucking walk into the gym in a couple of months time. And you're going to be like saying, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? See, look at that. Across the palms. Nice. Another warm up again. Just get some bit more blood into that muscle. And then we'll start doing some magic. You know what I mean? Start, you know, using all the food from the weekend and the nice treat meals are gonna come into some use. But this poor fucker is hurt his back. <laughs> Too much janky panky. Yeah man. <laughs> Let's go, yeah, man. Show me. This is a good way of training. This set will be, you know what I mean, for anybody, you know, who wants to uh, increase their strength. You know what I mean? So what we're gonna do now is rest pose. Basically that is doing as many reps as I can with a little touch if needed on the last one and then rest 10 seconds and then try again. All right? So I'm going to show you guys there, eh? you don't need 10 different exercises to do chest. You can do one exercise, do it to the fullest with the best tools available. And I'm teaching you all these tools. Yep. Yep. Yeah, let's go. And again up. One more. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Eight, nine, ten. Come on, back down. Let's go. Yep, y'all bother. Come on, again. One more in there. That's all to it. That's the fucking. That's the rest pause. My check. Let's see it then. Let's go. Yeah. Aggression. Don't show me away from me. Come on now. Scream. Get it. I get it. Show me. Oh. Good. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, yep. two, come on, let's go. This one is going to be a drop set. Yes. Not for you Instagram girls out there to drop it like a heart. No, this is a drop set. The proper way to do a drop set. So let's get back down to old school. How bad do you want it? As simple as that. Remember the person who said, I'll start tomorrow. Where is he? Exactly. Nobody knows his fucking name. The person who everybody knows is the one who's putting in the work. Somebody just turning up to gym and just walking around is better than the person staying at home and watching Instagram motivational stories. Look in the mirror. How bad do you want it? Come on. Easy. Good. Easy. 
Go, squeeze, come on. Squeeze, come on. Squeeze, and again, up. Come on. That's all it is. That's all it is. Now, your turn, my friend. Don't go shy on me. Show me that aggression. Good man. Good man. We're gonna do a super set. You understand? You speak a anglet? No. Basically it just means we're gonna do this exercise and then another exercise back to back. Boom ready! Awesome. One more. Oh. Easy as ABC. You see? Didn't do anything. Out of the ordinary. Stuck to the old old school principles. And got shit done. Didn't overcomplicate it. Kept it simple. The key word is simple. Like I said, guys, believe in yourself. And on that note, You'll probably be fed up with hearing my voice now. So peace out. Game over.